I've been teaching a lot of people and we have many courses in Nomad Academy and I get almost like 50 questions per day. One group asks a question saying, hey, this doesn't work, what did I do wrong, how can I fix this? And the other group says, it doesn't work, my code is the same as yours. Like, it just doesn't work. It's not my fault, but it just doesn't work. Something external is preventing my code from working. And this is the, this is the worst that we can think of, because you are the one that creates the errors, so you are the one that fixes the errors. The problem with this way of thinking, like it doesn't work, and from, the problem with removing yourself from the equation is that you are putting the blame on the computer or on the browser or in the JavaScript or in the Visual Studio Code or in Node.js, just like, doesn't work, this doesn't work, as if you have nothing to do with it. And that's something that could have some improvement. It could be improved a little bit more. And the way that you maybe want to start thinking is more of a, okay, this shit doesn't work, that's my fault, what was my mistake? This kind of thinking will take you down a road of you are the problem and you are the fixer. You introduce the box, but you also eliminate the box, all right? And this will help you learn so much better and so much faster because people learn when they make mistakes. I don't learn when everything works out. I learn when I have to fix something. I learn when I have to, I don't know, I learn when I made a mistake and it took me days to realize it and I will learn it very well because I will remember it. If you remove yourself from the error and you say just that this doesn't work, Nicolas, this doesn't work, can I, how can I make it work? It's very different than saying, hey, I made an error. What was my mistake? How can I fix that mistake? You put yourself in the middle of it. You create the error, you fix the error. You take responsibility from your errors in your code, in your projects, in everywhere. Okay, and maybe this sounds a little bit stupid, maybe it sounds a little bit too psychological or very small or it's not a big deal, but it will change the way you see code and it will change the ways you see errors. When you see a red screen, you wouldn't say it doesn't work. You would say, that was my mistake. Let me go back on my code and see how I fucked up. Rather than, oh shit, Node.js is not working. What is the error here? It's a very big different approach, all right? And I want you just to keep that in mind because if you ask questions the right way, you will get better answers. Not from me, but from yourself. Rather than saying, this doesn't work, let's say, how did I fuck up? And here, that will teach you something. Rather than just thinking, it's Google Chrome's fault, I did everything perfectly, but it still doesn't work. Think, I didn't do something perfect, I missed some detail, there is maybe a capital letter, maybe a lowercase letter, maybe there is a comma where it shouldn't be, etc. Okay? So first look at your own code, first look at what you did, and then if you think it's perfect and you haven't done anything wrong, then maybe later you will say, okay, Node.js has an error, maybe it's a bug from the previous update or Google Chrome doesn't, it's, it's not compatible anymore or whatever. But first look at yourself, everything that you did, and just after that you will say, okay, I need help on this, all right? It's not bad to ask for help, but first ask yourself. This is a very funny image that I saw that says that being a developer is like being a detective on, an, on a crime novel where you are also the criminal because we put bugs in and then our job is to actually remove those bugs. So we make mistakes and we have to fix our mistakes. So it's very interesting uh, way of thinking about it. That's it, it's a very small tip, but I think it will help you a lot. I fucked up, how did I fuck up? Let me look at my mistakes and let's try to fix everything, all right? That's the first part, that's the first video of this series of how to learn to program by yourself. It's just habits, okay? Just, I, mean, I don't know, I'm rambling now. Enjoy your life, enjoy your kimchi. I don't have kimchi nowadays. That's what I'm sad. Send help. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.